everyone, welcome back to Bling Bling Wednesday and I have the reveal of the tree, the Four Seasons tree. I was going to do it all in one video with the time lapse, but I figured I combined it all together in today's video, give it a little bit different and also have a whip and chat. So this is the last one of the of the partials that I did from the store that I will link in the description. I can't pronounce it, so I wish they would have English name stores. <laughs> I know they're from China, but really Canadian name stores, American, whatever you want to call it. But anyways, I really enjoyed it. And someone said to me in my comments that it's the Four Seasons. And I didn't quite see it, but now looking at it, done, I see it and I get it. So there's fall, there's winter. I'm pretty sure that's maybe summer. Or is that spring? Cause it's a lot of flowers and then summer. I'm not sure. One of these are summer and winter, what well, summer and spring. I'm not sure which one's which, but now I see it and I get it, which didn't really clue into me because it didn't really have a name when I ordered it. But for three dollars and what was it, three dollars and I forget how much I paid, three dollars and eighty-five cents or something. I'm thinking it it's pretty good for a partial. And. It only took me that day that I started it and I did the time lapse. It only took me that day to complete. It was a cute, super fun one. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. The only thing I don't like are the lines and I should have like maybe earned it, but I didn't, I don't think, maybe I'll try to find some little tiny, um, frames at the dollar store and try to do something with this because I don't know, could be a fun kind of experiment to see, <coughs> excuse me, what I can come up with. So there you have it, the reveal of the Four Seasons tree. And when I come back, I'm going to work on these some more because I don't have anything else for Bling Bling Wednesday at the moment so I figured I need to get these keychains out because I need them out of my Herbert Freight containers and it's the right mess because I never label the containers so yeah this should be an interesting whip and chat so I'll see you in a few minutes hi everyone I'm back um so thought I do the keychains here's the keys I had to organize them like I said, I only finished the one side since the last time I did these. So I figured I start and do these till the end. If it takes a couple of whip and chats on bling bling Wednesday, then it's going to have to be because I am waiting for my big one to come in. Or I can go to the pink raspberry and buy one, but I really don't feel like doing that. So, and if I apologize if you can hear Gigi snoring, but Gigi snoring again. He likes to snore on Bling Bling Wednesdays. For some reason. But anyways, I lined up the Harbor Freight containers because I don't have the numbers on them. So I lined them in order by number. And I'm going to try to do it with this tip. And see what happens. I'm going to put some off to the side. We're going to try to finish this one side and see how it goes. This is what they look like in the end. The only thing I don't like about these packages that you buy, I wish that instead of giving you all owls, they could have like gave you a variety of each one that they have. Like I wish there was a variety pack where you can get one of each because I think that would be more fun. I guess there'd be a lot more diamonds, right? 
but anyways, that's my thoughts. So which one should I start with first? It's kind of hard to do this without because I have such crappy lighting in here. I think I'm going to do three first and I couldn't find the three. And then I finally found it. I left it in the Harbor Freight container. So, yeah. We're going to start off with three. So, just a little chat on how... So, on the weekend, I worked a lot on... Whoa. Why do these look all dumb? Oh, they are supposed to be that color? No, they're supposed to be gold. Or black. They're supposed to be black, or are they supposed to be... And I think they're supposed to be this color. Weird. Should I just take the whole film off, or just a little bit like I was before? I don't know. Let's just take a little bit off. I'm going to kind of like hold it in my hand. But why does that seem like that's not supposed to be the color of this one? Maybe it is. I don't know. The lighting in here is horrid. I need better lighting. So my daughter decided she was going to sleep over at her friend's house last night. So I had the house all to myself, except for Gigi and Lola. And my neighbor must be going to work this morning. Because as per always, I'm up at the crack of dawn. And I think that's what happened to me. I got burnt out on the weekend from waking up so early or having sporadic hours that on Monday I totally crashed early because I was going to film take Tuesday on Monday night so I could have it up by Tuesday morning but that did not happen because I was I was pooped. I don't know what was wrong with me. But I was tired. And I needed the much needed rest. I don't know what's going on with me. I've been kind of in the down or dumps. I'm hopefully going to change shifts soon. And maybe I'll feel a little bit more alive. I need a change. I need a change in my life. I need a change in my life for the better. And I'm hoping changing shifts will help me on that track. I made some poor decisions and I just need to bury myself out of them. I know it's weird that I say stuff like this and you guys are probably wondering what the heck I am talking about, but it's stuff that I do not want to spread on. On my YouTube channel, in case somebody from this town actually watches me. Which could be possible. But I do not post this on my personal page. I do post it on my Instagram. So if anybody that's on my Instagram, that's on my Facebook page, feels the need to find out what my YouTube channel is and hit that link. Because I do not put the links in when I, I have a method to my madness, people. I do not put the link right underneath my posting from Instagram. I tell you it's in my bio because that creates more work, which probably 
may not benefit me in the end because it's creating someone more work. But in the same fact too, I really don't want People on my Facebook page, like, just people judge you. Maybe I shouldn't care if people judge me, but you know, deep down inside, you do care to some degree, right? Or am I just saying this and nobody agrees with me but I do this world is very very judgmental nor that I always say I don't care what people think but in the same fact I don't want to hear it do you get what I'm saying these are kind of like I kind of think these are kind of cool because they kind of remind me of the ever moment, not ever moment, what am I talking about? The Diamond Art Club Special Gems. That's what these white ones remind me of. Like the ones I had in Elizabeth. Speaking of which, I have Elizabeth on the, I have like, I actually do have a hand-me-down drafting table that's just been sitting over there holding my stuff because one of the clips are missing off of it and my sister can't find it where she put it. So it's just been sitting over there in the corner of my living room. I do want to set it up, but I'm starting to think that I'm not gonna set it up and I might I might take down one of the shelves on I have a big corner desk that really monopolizes my dining room I don't even have my dining room table in there because of it and it's basically just holds all my diamond painting stuff like and it has my computer on it that I haven't bought a new cord for, so it's just been sitting there, not being used, but I'm thinking about maybe buying the cord for it, maybe looking on Amazon. I never thought about going to Amazon. I was always thinking, oh, they're so expensive at, at Staples, but maybe I'll check Amazon and see if I can get, just need like a universal one maybe. But it's not like a laptop cord, it's like a computer cord. So I don't know if you're supposed to get a higher box for that or what. I don't know. And I think I got a different gem on my finger, and I do. So, I'm thinking about taking the one shelf side down and then just making a little work area over there for me to do my diamond painting and filming and everything. And then I have like the computer there too, which I could, you know, watch YouTube videos and Netflix and listen to my podcasts. Cause really, how much TV do I actually watch when I, I do watch TV when I diamond paint, but I think I need to give back my living room to my daughter so she can watch TV. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I should give it up and go over there. And then this guy from work gave me some storage bins well, one storage bin that he was getting rid of. And I thought that would be handy to store some of my diamond painting stuff. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. But I think that's what I'm going to use it for. So that should be 
interesting. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing because I've been like all over the place and I haven't really been looking at the camera. I do apologize in advance. My stomach kind of hurts this morning. It's early again in the morning, guys. I know. This seems to be the quietest around here early in the morning. And it's way before the train hits, I think. I think. I don't know what time it is. But I think it is. Look, at I'm yawning. Because the last, like I said, the last two days have been really... I woke up, like, I come home from work on Monday and I fell asleep at, like, 7 o'clock at night. <laughs> and I passed out till, like, 10.30. I woke up and I thought I was late for work. And I'm like, what time is it? It was only 10.30. So I got off the couch and went to bed and slept all the way till time to go to work. And pretty much the same thing happened again. No, that was Sunday. Either way, Sunday and Monday, I slept super long. That's all I know. I think I'm going to do six next. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Is this one. So, updates. I'm probably going to do my whip and chat. Thank goodness it's Friday with the custom. Only because I want to try to get that custom done. And get it out of the way. Then I have this other lady at work that's bugging me to do a custom for her. And I really don't want to. I'm kind of burnt out on my customs right at the moment. I don't find enjoyment in them anymore. Because I've done too many portrait ones. I will do it for her. I just don't. She probably would want it done by Christmas. Oh. I got so many projects on the go, and I haven't even started the Walking Dead one. But it is only August, but Christmas is creeping in slowly. But there's so many other ones I want to do before that one. Why did I commit myself to that Walking Dead one? I don't know. It's for my son-in-law. Well, he's not really my son-in-law, but I call him my son-in-law. Because he's been practically with my daughter for like ever. So... That's why I call them my son-in-law. They are engaged. But just finding it too expensive to get married the way my daughter wants to get married at this time. And as much as I want to help them pay for everything, I can't. Because I'm not rich. So, yeah. Plus, they're doing everything backwards. It's supposed to be first comes marriage, then comes baby. Well, they're doing it the other way around. Which is fine. It's 2019. I had a daughter out of wedlock. I'm not one to judge, and my daughter knew. But it's not like I care. 
I just did it. I just wanted her to wait until, you know, she had a career under her belt and everything. And she finished her college. That's all I asked of her and that's what she did. And I'm super proud of her for doing it that way. So I gotta do that for her and her boyfriend. My niece, I just finished watching her videos. They just make me want to laugh. Her and her kids and the busyness of it. I couldn't imagine having that many kids running around. And her choice of music isn't the great. <laughs> like, what the heck? I guess they're young. I don't know. But have video of your kids and then swearing in the background? I don't know find it kind of weird but they are young and young pe young people don't think of it that way like us old people do because I's old I'm gonna be old in two weeks is my birthday my birthday is on August 22nd I will be, I think it's a Thursday, I will be 47, oh, I'm getting close to 50, 47, 47, oh, I'm getting old, and I feel, I feel old, I feel Yesterday at work, I had such a huge cramp, or I don't know what it was, like a knot in my in between my shoulder blades. I'm glad that went away. We did the big clean yesterday at work, and then we went to go start up, and line six machine was didn't want to turn on. So needless to say, no production got done on line six after the big clean. I don't know what happened. I wonder if they got it up and running after we left. Nor do I really care because I ain't there and I ain't there today to worry about it. I am happy it is my day off. I wanted to go to Pink Raspberry, maybe on Thursday. I haven't talked to Mo yet, but I'm hoping she'll want to go tomorrow to do some diamond painting. I asked a girl from work, Sherry, if she wanted to go. So hopefully Sherry shows up. Because we can't really talk too much at work. She does like, she does the housekeeping at work. And she only works, she works every day and then she works till, till uh, 12, 30, one o'clock. She starts super early, I think. I can't remember what time she starts at. But anyway, I miss her because I haven't seen her much. And I'd like to catch up. On life so hopefully she will come to the pink raspberry and look at it, I can't pick anything up oh, guys if you've seen the condition of my waxes you guys would laugh at me it's it's pretty funny I'm starting to get used to this tip. So, you know how I was complaining about it at the beginning? 
I'm starting to enjoy it. So I'm kind of happy I did order more. Do you guys find like on AliExpress, I feel like diamond paintings come on time and come at a decent, reasonable time. But when you order other stuff, like smaller stuff and like accessories, I find they take forever. Is it just me or do other people feel that way too? Like I ordered some accessories like a long time ago and I've gotten diamond painted since then. And I ordered some magnets from AliExpress, which I think I'm kind of regretting because I should just order them from Amazon. I still might order from Amazon some because it doesn't feel like they're coming in and I gotta go check the, the grocery bags because I went to Walmart yesterday. No, not yesterday. Well, on Sunday or something. I can't remember. One day through the weekend. I went to Walmart and I bought some ladybug um, buttons and I bought some bunny rabbits. They're just pink bunny rabbits. They're just like the silhouette of the bunny. Our Walmart in Canada sucks for buttons and stuff, not like the States. And then Sherry was saying maybe we should get, because I was thinking about getting my passport again, but honestly, I don't fly anywhere. And I don't see myself anytime soon going to Cuba or anything, even though I really want to, but I do have a fear of flying, like, this is what's holding me back of going to see Tyler too, because maybe I just gotta bite the bullet and go see Tyler in Canada, and then realize it ain't so bad, and then I can go on another tropical one, but I don't need a passport to go see Tyler. But I was thinking about getting to the advanced license, so I can just cross the border because I heard it's cheaper. And then I can just go across the border because my daughter doesn't need one until she's 16. And even that, that if she gets her beginners, I wonder if she can get the, the advance on the beginners, I'd have to ask. Because then I don't really need a passport for her either. She's still 15, so she can still go under mine until she's 16. One more year. So, yeah. So, that should be... And then I can go over to the States and find Herbert Freight and get my own containers. So I mean, I ain't paying $20 for them in town when I know I can buy them for $5. So yeah. And then I like to go to Hobby Lobby I've never been and see what it's all about. I've been to Michael's. Like obviously we got one here in Canada. Canada. But I do want to get my I do want to get be able to go over to the States again. But right now the dollar is like ridiculous. I liked it when the dollar was at par. Then it, it made it worth my while to go over there. Some stuff is still good like to go, but by the time you pay the exchange, it, you really aren't ahead of the game. 
but because I think it's like 70 cents per dollar. I don't, I'm not quite sure. It changes, it fluctuates every day. And I think I'm done with ones. I was hoping to get these. Um, they take longer than, than I think. I think it's easier to do a partial than these. Oh my gosh, I'm making a right huge mess here, people. Stop it. This was a bad idea the way, oh my goodness. This was a bad idea the way I decided to <coughs> Oh my gosh, I'm coughing. Sorry, everybody. This was a bad idea the way I decided to do this. What was I thinking? Clearly not. Oh boy. Which one should I do next? I think I'll do four. One, two, three, four. This should be four. And it is so. And it is a nice pretty green. Then I was thinking like these extra gems. I was thinking about, oh, you could like Say you're doing a diamond painting or something and just like for an accent instead of using the color it's supposed to be switch it out for one of these sparkly ones wouldn't that be cool i don't know which painting i would do it on but i thought that might be a super cool idea of course it'd have to be around but I really want to do that ever moment next. After my climax picture, which is really turning out really good, and the gems are not popping, which is super cool. I was so worried about that, and they're not. So. It's turning out really good. But now that I've done some bigger ones, I've been finding that 40 by 50 is small. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I don't know. It's like, to me, a 40 by 50 is like a 30 by 30 to people. Like, I don't know. but I do find it the most reasonable comfort price range for me right at the moment. Yeah, so it is what it is. is next number five so if you see like pauses within the video it's actually me stopping to have a vape and a drink of my coffee because I find my cam like my microphone really picks up on the noise and I don't really want to vape in everybody's ear all the time so <coughs> That's why I stop, and I think I'm getting a cold, which will really suck if I am, because I can't afford to be sick. I can't afford to miss time off of work. Why does this feel like it's the same color? 
clear they they kind of look the same but it could be because my lighting sucks in here I think it's like a blue yeah it's different I was gonna say something when I stopped I thought about but now do you think I can remember it? No. My life story. I... Don't know why I torture myself for waking up this early. And it is now past six o'clock in the morning, so I'm sure the next train will hear what would be my videos without a train. It would not exist. Without some choo-choo trains in the background. So, I listened to a podcast. I was talking about it in one of the lives. And it was on my hometown. It was under Small Town Murder. It's a podcast. And it's these two guys. But they are kind of like comedy too like they like to crack a lot of jokes and of course Strathroy was their main cracking up about jokes they don't so much crack up about jokes about the crime itself like when they say serious stuff and what happens to the victims they don't make a joke out of it but they do make a joke of like the town and like it's a two hour podcast and the majority of it was making fun of Strathroy. Which granted Strathroy would be kind of funny to make fun of because what town has a turkey fest? Really? They have been kind of like trying to steer away from turkey fest and they call it hometown festival but that ain't gonna jive because this town has always known it as turkey fest so them trying to change the name i think is retarded excuse my language i shouldn't have said that word it's not a nice word to say sometimes i say it by accident i apologize for saying it because that's not a nice word. Sometimes it comes out of my mouth by accident. Probably because I'm old school. And that's why it comes out of my mouth sometimes. I don't mean it being offensive, if you get what I mean. But anyways, so they have this podcast about the serial killer in Strathroy. Because back in the 70s, there was one. And his name was Chris McGee. And I worked with his daughter for a lot of years at my old job. She never knew her father because... He went to jail pretty much when she was an infant because when all these murders were happening I was just like a toddler or a baby toddler because I think it started in 1974 in March or something and I was just a little babies but yeah and she would have been probably two because I think she's around my age she might be a year older than me. I'm not sure anymore because I haven't talked to her in a long, long time. I only talked to her once about her dad. 
and she said that he worked at the library in the jail and would send them videos, old video cassettes of old movies. But I've never really talked to her other than that about her father. But I never knew what he actually did. Like, I knew there was a serial killer in Strathroy, but I didn't actually really know the crimes he committed because back then there was no internet. So if you look it up on the internet, you don't really find much about him other than the newer stuff because he tried... Okay, first I gotta count one, two, three, four, five, six, that. Because he tried to get released. Now, back in the day, in Canada, you're allowed to claim insanity. You can, you can claim the insanity plea, and that's what he claimed. So, in actual fact, he didn't really get charged with first-degree murder. He, cl he claimed insanity, and he won it, basically. He won that he's crazy. He is in jail. And I'm pretty sure it's like, I'm not, I'm not a hundred. This is what I didn't get from the podcast. I'm not a hundred percent sure if he's in a regular jail or if he's in like a jail for the mentally insane. I didn't really get it. I think he's in real jail. I don't know, but something about him suing another jail. I don't know. That was in the podcast, too. I didn't really get all the full details. But anyway, he was trying to say that he wanted to be moved to a lower security jail in Toronto, which would give him access to weekend passes. And heck to the no, do I ever want him to come back to Strathroy? And I am glad that the government denied him because he is one person that is not welcome back in this town. Even the mayor has stated it, that he is not welcome back. But anyways, he killed quite a few young girls in town, and which is kind of scary because my sisters, like my sister Helen was older than my brother, and my sister Helen knew him, like knew Chris McGee, and he used to, like I said, we had the turkey festival. Apparently, one year he was the car, he was working in the car, like as a carny, and she said he'd give them free rides, which is like, just freaks me out. And I can't believe what he did. Yeah, it just blows my mind. But it's episode 50, 54, if anybody wants to check out Small Town Murders. Because we's in it. This town has had its share of being in the media a few times. Probably then, back then, with him, and there was a terrorist that was living among us. That was all interesting. That was crazy. That was crazy stuff right there. They ended up shooting him because he blew up the cab. He put, he let off a bomb in the cab and then he ended up, they ended up shooting him. I don't know all the details, but the cab driver was mad and the cab driver said if he hadn't have bent over down to grab his cigarettes, he probably would have got hit by the blast because it happened in the back seat. It wasn't like a huge bomb, but it was enough to do lots of damage to the cab. But I just find it so weird. And he, like, 
he was on his way to Toronto and he was going to do something bad. Like in that major city. And he got stopped before he could get there, which is a good thing. But it was just scary knowing that he was in in my hometown living here because the Alberta government sent him here. Crazy. Craziness. They knew. They knew who he was and they sent him here to live with his sister. The courts did. And none of us knew who he was. And the military was here, yeah, with big shadu. Lots of news media. I find that I find that kind of exciting and fascinating though when you see like news media around. Do you guys ever get like that? It's like what? It's happening in my town? Like nothing happens here. But yeah, that happened. And there you have it guys. I got one owl completed. Doesn't he look cute? I was trying to wonder, are they all the same? But I don't think they are. See, this guy's different. This guy's different than this one. He is so cute. Super excited. But yeah, I think I'm going to keep on doing these on my whipping chats. Until I get them all done. For bling bling. Until the big one comes in. But I am going to let you guys go for now. I hope you enjoy this video. And I will see you guys the next time. And guess what? One video without the train. I can't believe it. What the heck? No trains today. Maybe they go off at 7. I don't know. But anyways, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like, please subscribe to my channel. I'd be super tickle pink. And remember to hit that notification bell to remind you when I upload a video. And that's it for now. I am done for the day. I am going to film a whip and chat when I figure out some more things to think in my head of what to talk about. Because, you know, I'm just little old me with a boring life. So, not much to talk about sometimes. Some days, maybe something hap will happen today that will be exciting. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I think it's going to be on the custom because I really need to crack down and work on it. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't know. Maybe I'll just sit here and do another owl. I don't know. But we'll see. So, bye everyone and see you next time. Thank you.